Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos. Um, or actually, this is more for the uh, Kigu channel. I'll put this on the Lake Cool Man. Um, a lot of you guys want to see a little bit of my iMac 27 more in depth specs and the current apps I have running as of right now. Um, and just a little bit of, you know, uh, I just want to show off the test demo of ScreenFlow, the app I got not too long ago on my MacBook when I first had that. So, this is the app I'm using to screen record. It's not 99 bucks, but one of the, definitely worth the money. One of the best. Uh, video or screen recorders out there. Um, anyways, I want to talk about my iMac. This is again the 27 inch. I want to show off some of the apps I have on it and just see how the video quality looks like with this. You know, recording at a new resolution, obviously, with the 27 inch screen. So, let's get in right into it. I want to talk about my apps first off. A lot of you guys asked for some detailed looks. And again, I'm always looking for new apps. So, if you guys, you know, I'm new to the Mac, or I'm not new to the Mac per se because I've had a MacBook for a couple of years, but uh, you know, I really got a uh, more, you know, specced out Mac, so definitely looking for those, uh, you know, bigger applications out there, and I can do a lot of stuff with this, uh, this quad-core processor. So, I have obviously the, now, you know, the default stuff that comes with Lion and OS X in general, Safari, FaceTime, Launchpad. I do use uh, iChat a little bit, not here and there with some people. Uh, I have the Twitter app installed, and I, it's actually on my dual monitor here, because I have dual monitors hooked up with my iMac right now. Um, actually, I have I'm going to be shooting for a triple monitor setup, but um, as of right now, it's just dual monitors, so that's what I'm working with right now. Um, I also have uh, screen for, like I mentioned earlier. These are just some you know, windows I have open with text and links and stuff like that. Um, Application-wise, I have a couple stuff here. So I have most of the default stuff. I have Final Cut Pro, the trial version as of right now. Um, I'm still deciding. Uh, it's definitely something I've been wanting to get for a while, and now that I have the Mac to do it, I'm thinking about purchasing it. It's much, much more cheaper than it used to be. I think before it used to be ridiculously expensive at like 70 bucks. Um, now Final Cut Pro itself is, is 300 bucks. I have the 30-day free trial, just kind of seeing how I edit it with how, you know, it, it's better than uh, when I got, I got Vegas a while back. I mean, that's what I used to use on my PC. Um, and this is a little bit more, this is much more cheaper than when uh, Vegas, or uh, actually I'm not sure how much, I totally forgot. Or if you get the Vegas DVD edition, maybe that's cheaper, but... Motion 5, I didn't get Motion 5 or Compressor as of yet. Right now, I'm only using Final Cut Pro 10. Um, and it's at 300 bucks now, much more cheaper. It's more stripped down, but definitely I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm still watching a lot of tutorials and stuff like that before I even consider purchasing it. All right, so that's one of the applications I have installed right now. I also have iStat Menus. That's one that is up here. You guys can see this. This is the iStat Menus up here. Uh, this one that's 15 bucks. It's really worth it because it just you know, made a call here. So <laughs> I'm going to hang that up. But anyways, you can see that I have, um, you can see my CPU temp, or my CPU, my temperature, my memory usage, my load average, uptime for network, or how long my machine's been on, current processes that are running, what's taking up the most. So, um, it's really, really detailed, and I just like having it kind of there to see, you know, how if my, you know, CPUs are being maxed out or anything like that when I'm rendering or anything of that sort. Um, what else do I have here? I have iStat menus, and really, I think that's mostly all in. So, oh, I have Reader, which is a $5 app in the App Store. It's for RSS feeds. Synergy, it's a free app used for sharing one keyboard and mouse across multiple computers. I have it hooked up to three computers right now, so one keyboard, one mouse can span across the whole of them. Um, and VLC and uTorrent for downloading podcasts and all that. Um, I, I like uTorrent a lot just because uh, I've, I used to download podcasts like video, HD podcasts like Dignation, stuff like that from just their site, but then um, sometimes when they're bigger files, I used to use, uh, what do you call it, BitTorrent back then, or uTorrent to get them, because uh, it was much faster, because everybody was kind of downloading them on the same day, you know, when they were released, so uh, uTorrent was uh, what I used, a lot of people recommended, uh, I, want, I forget the one for Mac, but there's an, I want to say it's called, is it Transmission, I think that's the one uh, a lot of people were recommending, uh, so I have to look into that, VLC for my movie files, because QuickTime is a play everything, uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah, so that's mostly all the apps I have on it right now. Uh, again, any recommendations, you guys are free, free to leave them in the comments below. So let's open up about this Mac, so you guys can see here, it's a 2.7 gigahertz Intel Core i5 quad-core processor. It has 4 gigs of RAM. I'm actually going to be upgrading this to 16 gigs very soon. I'm going to be ordering some sticks from Crucial uh, in a couple days here. Um, to upgrade it because video, you know, when you're editing uh, more RAM and anything for multitasking any applications or anything like that, more RAM is uh, always better for you, it can always benefit you. So, more info here, let's just go look at some of uh, the specs here. So, this is the iMac 27 inch mid, mid 2011 model here, 4 gigs of RAM, it has the AMD Radeon HD 67 
uh, or 6770 with 512, 512 megabytes of VRAM. Uh, I haven't really done gaming or any, you know, video intensive stuff for in terms of the graphics card. Um, but I do, I'm looking to get, there's some games in the app store, so I might download like Civilization or one of the Arkham, the Arkham City, or not Arkham City, Arkham Asylum game, just to kind of test out and download some other free Mac games out there, just to see, you know, how the graphics perform. Um, serial number, obviously I'm going to have to blur that out for this video, and it's on 10.7.2 right now for OS X Lion. Display, as you can see here, it's the running at 2560 by 1440, and I have a external 24-inch display running at 1920 by 1080. I have two of these SyncMaster displays, so I'm going to be going with the triple monitor setup with the iMac in the middle. I think that will look really nice and really, because this is my powerhouse machine, my main machine as of right now. Um, storage, I have a one terabyte hard drive in here. Um, you can see I'm not using up too much. I have the super drive. I'm also going to be adding in the Intel X25M SSD that I have currently installed on my PC. I'm going to be formatting that putting a 500 gigabyte drive in my PC and putting the 80 gig SSD in here just solely for the OS X Lion install in my most used apps. That way my apps that are mostly used launch quick and the operating itself, operating system itself will be loading from an SSD which would, should give me much more tremendous speed. Uh, not saying that this one terabyte drive is bad but the SSD will be that much more better. Uh, as you can see here it's the default RAM has four slots so two two gig sticks. I'm going to be ordering two four gig sticks uh, first to have eight gigs added to the machine which will be a total of uh, 12 gigs of RAM and then after that I'll switch out this 2 gigs later on to get uh, what do you call that another 4 gig another couple of set of 4 gigs that will have a total of 16 in all all in all uh, so yeah this is what my iMac is sporting as of right now tons of upgrades to come uh, I'm going to show a lot of those repair videos of me putting the SSD in uh, and uh, putting a RAM in and all that once that all gets in I already have the SSD actually here but I just have to format it and stuff like that so with that, guys, this is concludes the tutorial for, or not tutorial, but the demo of my iMac 27-inch. And hopefully ScreenFlow handled everything okay. I'm pretty sure it did. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to check out the website at digitaldojos.com for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.